course, to my windows and hey, you can do this. Because this is our Windows Galactic 2. So let's rein it in a little bit while we're at it. Galactic 2 is a follow up to the original Galactic. And it exists because I was looking to do a thing where I've been listening to some burial. Those of you who know, uh, burials, classic drum and bass uh, dubstep artist, dubstep rather than tear out. And one of the things he liked to do was include these sound fabrics that were all made of reverb. So the background to his tracks could be, you know, pops and clicks and record noises. But you might also have things like just textures, sounds. Darker sounds. Writer sounds. Just all kinds of stuff. And you know, I've got Galactic for that. But I thought, why not do another one? Because it was more difficult to my ears to do the kind of infinite space stuff in Galacticus it wasn't really designed for certain things. For instance, you could use Galactic to do uh, stereotype things, but it worked in a certain kind of way. Whereas what you're hearing here sounds from one channel gradually drift over to the other channel. Or sounds from the other channel gradually drift over to the first channel. Or stuff just in the middle. Now the thing is, there are a number of things about this that might prove interesting. One of them is this is the sort of new hotness for reverbs that are designed for naturalistic style reverbs. It's possible that the original Galactic is better in certain ways for some of your synthesis type stuff. When I crank this up to ultimate full sustain and put the maximum amount of sound into it, 
and then also set it up to play some other noises in there. Well, the way it works, it is letting the stuff be infinite sustain, and it is replacing existing sounds with new sounds in a distinct and different way from the way that Galactic did it. But that's not to say that you necessarily prefer the tone of this one. And that's going to be a personal thing. Like, you might prefer the sound of the original Galactic. You might like what this one's able to do. For instance, I've been showing the window this entire time. And so you see me meddling like mad with sustain and darken. And we can cut the sustain down really fairly short. But it's designed to be the huge infinite space stuff. We can have it very, very bright, which is not a natural sound at all. Some people actually like this kind of texture and are looking for this kind of thing. It's not dissimilar to what you had in Infinity. Or we can go for a more sort of naturalistic kind of thing with darken about halfway. We've got drive in here. I think this is part of what I've got going for the replacement. It is not the same as the original Galactic in that we can have full sound. And you, one way you can do that is to cut the drive off and it'll just continue the infinite sustain from anything about 75% on. And then swoop that up with automation or something, maybe? And then you got something else in the infinite sustain. The idea is, it's a different arrangement of how this stuff uh, works. The idea is that uh, it's an alternative, and it's not exactly the same as uh, the original Galactic. In fact, some of its stuff is very different. The way that it's accentuating uh, sound spaces, it's meant to be kind of like outer space. Here, we'll do some more. So, sustain at 0 0.5, and pan, alternating between negative 1 and 1, hard left and hard right. And let's use this to fill in some sparkly spatial imagery, but rather than being dark and dull, it's going to be bright and shiny.
and then darken. You'll note that darken does cut back the uh, Darken does affect the sustain as well as the overall coloration of the reverb. Both of those things, the, 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 this is another reverb basically. This is another galactic style thing. It's designed to have not quite but similar behavior and be a uh, close to what the original galactic does, but Again, it's using the sort of full Monty five band stages, uh, 25 tap reverb feed forward thing that I'm doing for the more realistic ones. And as a result, it sounds different from what the original Galactic, which was a four by four, four by three. Um, it's a very different guts, very different basic sound to the algorithm and with a bit of luck, you will like this. I'm diving into some of these reverbs again. I've got a couple of things to, to put out because it is very possible that we are moving into the realm of using this technology to uh, start doing those Bracasti ones I was talking about. I am not sure as of today whether we're going forward with that, but I'll let you know and I'll talk to you later bye bye